Sunbeam Spirit here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really, really fun, exciting video planned. Um, this is for all of my RenFest friends and for all of my friends who maybe haven't been to RenFest but want to try. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to find pieces for your RenFest garb in any situation, like going to any store, just turning anything into a RenFest piece. So. And it's, it's a lot easier than you'd think. And I want to show you guys how easy it is because I have people come to me all the time and say, oh, I really want to dress up for RenFest, but I can't afford any of the outfits and it's just really expensive for me to get a costume and all that. And so I just want to show you guys how easy it really is to find something that you can wear to RenFest. Uh, today we're at our local Goodwill over there. You guys know that and uh, I'm going to be finding some stuff in the store and just sort of telling you how you can turn it into something for RenFest and I'm also going to show you guys once I get home some of the other pieces that I have thrifted or found at Walmart or just you know come across that I would incorporate into a RenFest outfit as well so I just want to show you guys how easy it really is so anyway hope you enjoy really easy to turn tops like this into uh, stuff for like fairy garb. You can wear something like this. This one has like some embroidery and stuff and it's a really pretty sage green color. You can turn it into a fairy outfit with a long skirt. It could be like orange or blue. It'd be really pretty and super easy to do. Like this is also really good for fairy outfits. Like it's got some crochet, some beads in there and it's actually silky. So that would be really nice paired with like a white skirt maybe. And then that could also be like just for a maiden outfit as well. Really good for like maiden outfits and like hobbit outfits, that type of thing. Um, you can find like flowy peasant blouses and you can layer like an overall dress over it or um, layer a whole bunch of skirts on top of each other and it'll create a really cute, very hobbity look. Uh, I like to find more of like um, shirts with like puffy sleeves for that sort of thing, but this could be used as well. Perfect, here we go. Vests like this are awesome for Renfest. They can layer over um, menswear, womenswear, like wear them with dresses, all that good stuff. And that's $5.99. Perfect for a wizard or mage costume. Layer this over some long robes or a long dress. Oop. Scooch. So mom just found this little thing, and this is perfect for like you could do a dark fairy, you could use it as a top um, for like maybe a witch outfit. Yeah, this is super cute. It's got that lace detail. You could layer it also with all kinds of scarves and belts and skirts. It would look amazing. You can always turn a formal outfit into something for Renfest. That's always pretty easy to do. Just get some wings or hats to match it and you're set. Also find um, outfits like from Halloween and stuff they'll put out. Um, this is really cute. You could definitely use that for um, like a maiden costume. You could sort of um, beef it up a little bit with some petticoats and be some other layers. It's cute though. There you go. Perfect piece for fairy garb right there. Layered over a plain white dress. Give it some cute wings. A little flower crown, adorable. And then another good base for maybe an elf costume. Um, you can add some moccasins, a cool vest. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Really pretty. It's like vintage dress. It could definitely be like a princess dress. Or if you were doing like a fair maiden outfit, you could also use it for that. Pair it with a flower crown, it would be so pretty gray pieces like this they're awesome for wizard outfits and also I think this one would be really cool because the pattern sort of mimics armor you could do it as like a lady knight that would be really neat add a vest um, a cool belt you carry your sword in the belt and wear some nice gray boots with it I think that would be really cool even take a shirt like this layer it with okay layer it with a corduroy dress like what I'm wearing and then boom you've got an instant adorable hobbit outfit. Back on our wizard and mage topic. This is a great base dress for an outfit like that. It's even got a belt with it and it's got that really earthy gray material. It'd be perfect if you wanted to do like a, a Gandalf 
you know, outfit interpretation. I think this dress would be super perfect for that. It's a little bit colder. You can look for dresses that are like a sweatery material. And it's got like the cool puff sleeves. And I think it's really neat. I love this color, as you guys know. So I'm probably actually gonna buy that one. Um, it's a little bit big for me. But the good thing is you can always sort of belt that kind of thing. But yeah, it's pretty neat. So linen is always like a really good um, material to wear to RimFest because it's kind of breathable, it's pretty lightweight, and it looks really nice. And it also, um, a lot of the things out there that you can buy are made of linen. So I just think this is really cool. This is a nice, a nice top you can layer with a skirt just to go with kind of a, you know, like a little maiden look. It's sweet. So back on the sort of mage vibes. This cardigan would go super amazing with one of those gray dresses I was showing you guys. It's got gray and blue all in it. And if you belted it, it could be really, really cool. It's really cool too. This could be for, gosh, any number of things. <laughs> I could see it used for fairy. I could see it used for like traveler type outfits. I could use could use it for um, like witchy outfits. Use it if you're going as like a snake-oriented costume. I don't know, there's just all kinds of stuff you could do with that, and that's got velvet on it, so that's always a really fun material. Be good for layering with some black pants, black boots, some cool like gloves all the way up the arm. <laughs> For Renfest, um, you can find all kinds of really good bags at Goodwill um, that look like, you know, they might be carried by somebody in the Renaissance ages, you know, like these little pouch type things. These are really cute. And it's got a long strap so you can go over your shoulder. You can just put your money in it, you know, or your phone or whatever. Like, super cute. Another one that really looks like it could be like so cool for Renfest because it's got like the sort of arrowhead shape and like the faux alligator skin. And there's plenty of room in there for your stuff, so that's another really good bag. I might actually get this one. And over here, of course, anything with lace and flowers, perfect for fairy. Ooh, velvet, I'm liking this. Ooh, this is great for layering. Anything that's like velvet and it's got like a nice sort of shape to it. Oh, I love that. Very cool. Shoes go. Check these out. This sort of thing. This sort of thing is amazing for Infest. These boots will go with like knight outfits, traveler outfits, wizard outfits, pirate outfits, mage outfits, just about anything. Oh, they're my size. They're really cool. But I do have like a bazillion pairs of boots, so. But anyway, if you're looking for shoes for your outfits for RuneFest, you know, check out your local Goodwill before you go spend like $300 on boots, because chances are they're going to get met muddy and stuff out there anyway, so you might as well not spend a fortune, unless you just want to, and that's totally your call, but, you know, I'm here to try to help you save money. Some awesome Hobbit vibes from this, it's like linen, and it's got cool pockets and you can put like I don't know fake flowers and stuff sticking out of your um, out of your shirt pockets and you could wear it over some brown corduroy because that's very hobby and yeah I think this would be a total hobbit look wear a cute little sun hat coordinate the flowers in your pocket with the flowers you put on the sun hat and you have got a super cute hobbit look guys I'm getting really cool dragon vibes from this you could totally use this as a base piece for a dragon themed outfit. They have lots of places at RuneFest where you can buy um, like little horns and stuff. You could totally find some that would match this and you could wear it like a shimmery gold skirt. You could make a tail out of like wires and material like felt or something. You could make a dragon tail and it would be amazing. Earthy colors like this, this really dark maroon. They make for really cool costumes. You add a vest, add some um, like harem pants, and they make for really cool like casual renaissance outfits. Just talking about sleeves like this, this is the perfect base 
for like anything that you want to do. <laughs> Perfect. You could even do pirate with this. Add a long vest that, you know, starts right here and goes to the ground. You could do some very cool pirate boots with it, some pants, add all kinds of belts and clip a whole bunch of cool trinkets to your belts. Yes. These would be super cute fairy shoes. Aww. Do with your garb is use scarves for layering. You can, oh snap. Speaking of Renfest, <laughs> this is amazing. Totally going to get that one. But you can layer them as scarves. You can wear them as shawls. You can wear them over your skirt. All kinds of uses for scarves. Okay guys, I'm in the skirts now and I'm just gonna try to briefly go through here. I'm not going to buy all of these things I'm showing you, nor am I going to try them all on because that would just take a really, really long time. Um, the point of this video is to show you how you can layer the things and create your own Renfest outfits um, without too much difficulty. I will, however, once we get home, try on a lot of the pieces that I have found thrifting throughout um, the past few months and stuff and I'll show you. Uh, I just don't want to buy all the things that I'm seeing today because then I'd be broke. So yeah, I'll still show you what I got today and do a haul and how I would style it um, for Renfest. Right. You're doing the sort of gray vibes. There's tons of skirts for that. Again, here we go. This might be really cool layered with uh, one of the gray things I showed you earlier. And the cool thing is you can layer skirts on top of skirts. It's just a lot hotter that way. <laughs> this is leather, so this would be really nice for any kind of costume. Like, this would be a good pirate skirt, maybe? Plaid. Could um, wear it for Celtic. Celtic weekend. Might be a little hot for that, though. <laughs> just a nice little linen skirt. Good for layering. Oh, here we go. Here you go could be like a blue bonnet fairy that would be adorable and then this is another really good fairy type skirt fairy elf you know that sort of thing it's a lot greener in person than it is on the camera though this is another perfect skirt for Renfest great for layering looks really cute with a basic peasant top it could be for like ooh, it's got some flares at the bottom that's cute and, oh, oh, here we go. This is another great skirt for Renfest. Perfect, perfect for fairy garb. Oh my goodness. Do some layers with some shawls and hang some trinkets on a belt. Find some, maybe some blue shoes. Ooh, yes, that would be cute. Kinda hobbity again. With a peasant top, yes. This video is about how to turn anything into Renfest garb. So, say you've got a basic pair of capris. Add a loose-fitting white blouse or a flowy, you know, blouse that's the color of your choice. It doesn't have to be white, but add a vest to it, and then you've instantly got sort of like a peasant outfit going, especially if they're more of a loose fit, which is way more comfy. You can wear like some simple shoes like what I'm wearing, little moccasins. Yeah, skirts are probably one of my favorite pieces for Renfest because you can style them so many ways. There's like this one, It'd be good for like a Radagast kind of wizard outfit. There's this one, which would be very cute if you're trying to stay comfy and cool. I do love the pattern and the colors on that. This would be really cool for like a rose fairy, you know, a skirt with like a pretty pink top with it. Um, linen, like I said, is always good. Kind of a good base for any outfit. And also, I saw this skirt. It's really cool. It's got suns and moons and all that stuff. I think it's very nice and it would be really good for, um, I kind of think like a witchy type outfit. And then, let's see what else we got here. Okay, looks like some skirts from like a private school maybe. So there's a whole bunch of them. Which you could totally, totally use that for a costume. That's like very Slytherin. <laughs> and, ooh, skirts with the buttons down the front are so cute and so in right now. Oh, plain green skirt. That's a good base for any kind of elven outfit. Oh, oh, hey. I might be getting that one. Well, I don't know, $5.99, may not. That's really pretty though. And flowy, that'd be perfect for fairy. See, really, as long as you layer it the right way, you can t make these things like look like I didn't find it at a thrift store. You know, this is my garb. White could be used 
for like a snow fairy. On that note, baskets are a great piece to add to your Renfest garb to sort of jazz it up a little bit. You can find something small like this one and just hook it on your belt and you can carry um, little trinkets. A lot of people like to dress up really nice and then carry like little toys and stuff to hand out to kids that come up to get their picture made with them. Um, carry on like beads and little keychains and stuff and you know give them out as gifts and they carry them in little baskets like that so you know that's always a fun thing to do oh this one's cool that would be cool on a table people carry their drinking mugs with them and if it has like a little handle on it they can put it on their belt and so that's another thing you can add to give your outfit a little extra oomph to make yourself a cloak um, and not pay like 300 for it um, you can always like check the linens and stuff at the thrift store because sometimes they'll have a really cool pattern stuff that you can turn into your own cloak like that one down there is really pretty this one could be easily made into a wizard cloak like this one right here that would be a very cool cloak. Hey guys, we are back home now and I am ready to show you guys what I got at Goodwill. Um, I'm also going to insert clips of how I would style it for Renfest. Um, I'm also going to insert um, some clips and sort of explanations of some other outfits that I think um, anyone could wear to Renfest um, and sort of how to style it. And basically everything um, that I'm going to show you is stuff that I've just come across like in my travels or like thrifting. Um, none of it I have paid uh, very much for. <laughs> you guys know me, I'm a big huge bargain hunter. So I want to show you guys that you can do the same. And for those of you who are always, you know, really sad that you don't get to dress up because it's too expensive, um, I'm going to show you that you really can. You can dress up. You can find really awesome pieces and you can create your own original garb from costume pieces, from, uh, you know, thrift finds, from just crafting materials. You can create your own garb. Um, I do want to clarify real quick, uh, costumes and garb are two different things. Uh, I know I sort of used both of them throughout the video. Um, so like a costume is something that you go and buy at the Halloween store, you know, you wear it like once or twice. Uh, that sort of thing. Garb is something that you spend a lot of time on, a lot of effort, uh, you put a lot of thought into it. So there is a distinction. Um, for the most part, people aren't going to get mad if you come up and say, hey, I like your costume, even if it's like their garb. But they'll be really excited if you tell them, hey, I love your garb. So just a little bit of fun Renfest stuff there. Now you can use costumes to help you build your garb. So you can use costume pieces from the Halloween store or whatever and you can build something amazing using it, you know, and make it your own. And once it's your own, your own piece that you've put together, you've curated, you know, you've styled and it's completely you, you know, then it's your garb. So just wanted to do a little explanation there. So if I say outfit, that's just like me being neutral, you know. Um, but anyway, I so want to show you guys what I got, and then I will insert the clips of the try-ons, and I will also bring in some other items later on in the video. This is going to be a really long video, guys, so just hang in there, get some popcorn, grab a soda, you know, just get ready. Alright, so first off, this is my bag. <laughs> yeah, I only spent around 40-ish dollars, so I you're going to be surprised about all the good things I got. Okay. So first, I'm going to start with this really cool bag. You guys saw it in the video. This is perfect for Rinfest because it's very rustic looking. It's like something um, a traveling merchant could wear. Uh, an elf could wear this. A hobbit could wear this. A dwarf could wear this. You know, any sort of, you know, fun medieval pal could, <laughs> could wear this. Because it looks like dragon hide, you know? It's, it's like faux alligator skin. Um, it's really roomy. It was only like $2.99. Uh, nice long shoulder strap and it's a good earthy color and I like this little detail too. It's sort of rustic so this is like a really great Renfest bag. Love it. Um, okay. 
we dig. Okay, next up, I want to show you guys this. <laughs> this shawl is really cool. Um, it's pretty awesome because I was looking for Renfest items, and here we go, a whole bunch of Celtic nuts. And I think when you stretch it all the way out, it's like a Celtic cross, but I can't, I can't quite tell you. I think it is. But um, anyway, and it's like my favorite color to wear, so <laughs> how perfect is that? And you can style these like a million bazillion different ways. So you could go with any sort of costume. You can even do like a fortune teller, use it as a shawl, as a head wrap. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. And you can also, the fun thing about these is you can hang these up as tapestries. Looks really nice on a wall. And you can use them as tablecloths too. If you want to um, say you're actually working a booth at Renfest and you need a little tablecloth to go over um, the little table you're working or something, go to Goodwill, find you a cute Celtic looking scarf and stretch it out and boom there you go tablecloth it can be a skirt and of course it can be a scarf <laughs> but anyway i think that was like 1.99 okay next up is this nice linen piece and i showed you guys in the video it is quite oversized i think it's what one of those shirt dresses honestly um linen it's sort of plaid and I think this is perfect for hobbity type outfits or like if you're going to be like a sweet little um, earthy garden witch, you know, um, with the cute little gardener vibes. I could definitely see this with like a long skirt and you can put flowers and, you know, fake carrots or something like, you know, some sort of gardeny thing in it. And then you could wear a little straw hat to match it. And I think it would be super cute. It's got these cuff sleeves. And I think this was uh, $3.99. But yeah, anyway, I really love that. So I think that'll be nice. Um, very good hobbity sort of thing. Also good if you like um, like Mori style, which I really, really love Mori style. That's probably about 50% of my style is sort of Mori. So I think that would go really well with some of my Mori outfits. But anyway, um, next up is this. And this one is a little bit more casual. Um, so say you just wanted to go with your friends and enjoy the day at Renfest. You're not really there to, you know, dress up, but you still want to be sort of, you know, in the vibe of Renfest. So you can bring something super casual like this. This is a little romper. Um, anything with like lace up, like corset style details. You can really not tell very much that that's lace up, but it is. Um, anything with those sort of details makes a really fun just casual outfit you can wear something like this wear some moccasins and wear like a little flower crown and there you go like you still look like you belong at Renfest but you're not overly uncomfortable in a big huge you know garb piece so <laughs> I think um you know sometimes casual is good I've done a couple of casual looks for Renfest in the past because usually the day before I wear like giant garb like you guys if um if you haven't seen my previous Renfest videos where I dress with my gigantic deer body that is behind me and my huge headdress, like, they're awesome and fun and I love to build them and make them and wear them, but, you know, it makes your back hurt, makes your head hurt, it makes you really tired, sleepy, dizzy, it actually made me pass out <laughs> sometimes, so, um, I'll, I'll link those uh, other Renfest videos down below in case you guys are interested. But sometimes if you wear a big garb on the first day, you're really just over it the second day. So you want to wear something casual. So this is for those casual fairies out there, you know. <laughs> um, okay. Now this little guy, I'm excited because this... Um, oh, and that, that romper I think was $4. But anyway, this is a vest. It's got a couple of little pockety type things uh yeah see right there and this is super versatile you can do all kinds of things when you have a piece like this a vest and I have some other vests that I will uh try to show in the video as well you can style a vest a million different ways um you can do with like peasant warrior wizard fairy elf like anybody can wear a vest hobbits hobbits love vests um and I I really like the thing about vests is like you can style them with like brooches and stuff so like if you're going to like cosplay or like casual cosplay a character um and if they have like a 
like a shield or a coat of arms or something or a symbol that represents them you can wear it in a little brooch to kind of like let people know hey this is who I am you know that kind of thing so I think those are really fun um, but yeah I love vests they're probably one of my favorite items to be able to style for uh, Ren Fest and I think that was three dollars um, okay now this next one is uh, I actually stumbled across this it was hidden away in the men's section like stashed behind some flannels or something and when I came across it I was like oh hello you were waiting for me weren't you um it is this set and oh my god I, I never find sets like this like oh, check it out mustard yellow off the shoulder it is a small and it's elastic yes and so stinking cute very girly and with this, I was thinking maybe Sunflower Fairy, um, which it's really easy to sort of come up with flowery pieces for your garb because you can just go to the craft store and you can find all of those little flowers, take some super glue, glue uh, some little alligator clips to the back, and then stick them all in your hair. You can even buy uh, just the garland from the craft stores. I think even Walmart is now selling like the floral garlands. And you can easily turn that into a flower crown or like a flower sash, you know, something of that nature. But anyway, these are the pants that go with it. Yes, they're so cute. They're really see-through though, like you can probably see my face through this. So I'd probably wear um, some light colored leggings underneath these. But mustard yellow set and it's adorable. So cute. This is another one of those good um, casual Renfest looks because sometimes you just don't, don't want to wear a whole lot. Especially when it's hot. Uh, the first, probably the first four weekends of our RenFest are just like unbearably hot. Especially the first two. They're, mm, they're so hot. It's so bad sometimes, but, but we still have the best time. Anyway, this was $6. And, oh, is this my, okay. Alright, I also have this, which this is really precious and honestly I can only picture like flower fairy when I see it because it is so cute and dainty it's got lace and it's sheer and it just goes all the way down it's a little sort of like a overdress type thing and it is so so cute I could definitely see this being a flower fairy or even a princess really if you wanted to do a sort of princessy garb like casual princess um, I could see this being like for a casual take on Rapunzel, um, you know, you could do this with a little purple dress underneath and like maybe some pink leggings um, and then purple shoes or something for like a Rapunzel type look. You could braid your hair, get some hair extensions and make it a little bit longer, you know, I don't know. I just, I see lots of possibilities with this. But look how cute. <laughs> that was $1.99. Anyway, super adorable. Um, okay, before I get to my last clothing item I want to do... The accessories real quick um i did find this hat wow it looks a lot more like pinkish on the screen it's actually maroon uh in real life but the camera screen is making it kind of funky um but anyway this was 2.99 and i figured this would look so super cute um with a hobbit look with a gardener type look um you could also do like a flower fairy and you could put some flowers on the hat. It's very floppy and it's like sort of got a couple of layers to it. So, mm. I, <laughs> I don't know about this little part. I might have to like pin it or something. Because it's just like, hello. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But <laughs> anyway, um, I think you get my point though. You could easily use it for a garb piece. Um, yeah, you could do like a little mushroom fairy. Even this looks like the top of a mushroom. So you could do like a white dress and you could get a, a red vest and put some white polka dots on it and you could be a little mushroom fairy. That would be fun. Or just like a mushroom spirit, you know, like you don't have to be a fairy. You can be a nymph, a gnome, a dwarf, you know, whatever. Um, a little spirit. But yeah, I think that's really cute. And I just, I like hats. You can do a lot with hats. Um, okay, and I want to show you guys this amazing thing. Uh, okay. This baby. Oh, hello. This baby right here is a picnic basket. And 
it has a shoulder strap look at this yes i'm so excited about this any any creature any character for rimfest could totally be carrying something like this it could be a pirate he could have treasure inside it could be a hobbit he could have a yummy second breakfast inside um you know it could be just a traveler who's got um all of their wares inside you know like a traveling merchant um, you could open it up and you could actually use it for, you know, storing whatever you needed or like if you bought something at Renfest and you needed a place to put it, but like you still wanted to look all cool and medieval, um, you could put it in here, you know, <laughs> and like store it like that. Uh, it's got this belt buckle on the, let me see if I can undo it for you real quick. It's seriously like, it's like rainbow and stuff inside, it's really cute, but Anyway, like, I might actually use it for my lunch or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about it, I just think it's adorable. Um, but yeah, definitely a good Renfest item. Now, I don't know if you want to carry around something that big all day, because I've carried around stuff that's that big and bigger, and it's really not fun, but also, you know, it might be worth it if you buy a bunch of clothy things and you don't want to carry around a bunch of plastic bags, um, and you can just put them in here, you know? Something big and spacious like that. And also, this last item, and in addition I will show you the other items um, that I'm going to style, but I thought this was amazing. It is this super cozy mustard yellow, like I don't even know what this material is, like it's super soft. Um, it's almost like, I don't know, almost like wool. It's like new with tags and everything. Um, I don't know. Perfectly Priscilla is the brand. I've never heard of that, but um, it is, it's like a large, extra large. So it's going to be big on me, but the good thing about that is I can just wear it off the shoulder and I can put a belt because that's what I always do. My favorite thing about this though, that made this very Ren Festy are these awesome sleeves. <laughs> I think these are so cool. Anytime a sleeve has like a cool detail or a puff on it, that indicates that it will automatically be pretty cool for Renfest because the Renaissance time period they were all about the puffs and the ruffles so <laughs> I think anytime you see that in a clothing item that's you know a good sign but I especially love this because it's mustard yellow and it's actually really like super warm so uh, I know I'm gonna actually wear that in the winter a lot like to work and stuff I think it's actually uh, within our dress code I think it's long enough so I'll be wearing that in the winter a lot and that was I think $5.99 so anyway <laughs> that is concluding the haul of what I got just now um, so now we're gonna roll on over and I will show you um, a couple of outfits that I put together with thrifted pieces and like gifted pieces and that sort of thing Oh my gosh, I hope that wasn't out of focus the whole time. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. It's like kind of late in the afternoon, and so, you know, I'm struggling. I've got my ring light going, but this lighting really isn't the best. I kind of look like a, like a skeleton. But anyway, uh, so I will show you guys some more looks right about now. So here is my hobbit slash uh, maiden sort of look. The white dress is from Shein, as well as the hat. Both of them were under $10. And here is the plaid shirt that I got at Goodwill. I just layered it over the dress. And here is my super amazing picnic basket that I found. I'm still so hyped up about this, but it would be perfect for any kind of Hobbit look. Here is my casual sort of sunflower fairy or nymph outfit. 
Um, it's super lightweight, really breathable. It will definitely keep you cool on days when it's super hot outside. Um, in addition, uh, the sunflower that I'm wearing, you can get just at Walmart in the craft aisle. Here is a rogue slash warrior outfit. Please don't hate me. I forgot a button on the vest. <laughs> yes, this is the vest I got at Goodwill and the bag. Um, everything in this outfit is actually thrifted. All of it's from Goodwill. Here is another casual outfit. It's like an adventurer outfit if you want to be comfy but still be in the vibe of Renfest. Got the dress at Goodwill. It's the same one from the last video. Um, pouch skirt is from Renfest, actually. And the leggings are velvet, and they're very warm, and they're from Walmart. This jacket right here was actually a gift from a shopkeeper at a festival. Um, we helped her clean up her booth, and she gifted us a few items of clothing. And then this was also a gift. My mom got that for me at Renfest a few years ago. Uh, any sort of hood like this can really add something special to your outfit. Now it's gone from sort of casual adventure to a uh, wandering mage, perhaps. Here is the romper I got at Goodwill. Just super simple, very easy Renfest outfit, comfy. And it will keep you cool and just add a flower crown and there you go. You're ready to take pictures in the garden. Here is my, this is my, my very basic witchy garb. Um, I have a lot more complicated uh, witch garb that I wear to Renfest. And to be honest, um, it's actually just normal clothes that I would wear on a regular basis. <laughs> but they do have witchy feels to them. And so I have um, sort of styled them into Renfest looks before. And this is the scarf I got at Goodwill. Um, this this really could go with anything. I just needed a black dress to pair with it. Um, and I think this could go go well for uh, a lot of different kinds of garb. And you can also wear it a lot of different ways. I just did it as an overskirt here. And you can also do it as a shawl. What I'm about to show you. <laughs> a little extra layer if it's a little chilly out. Add a belt, make it like a cardigan type thing, or you can turn it into sleeves by tying it in a knot behind your back from the shawl position like this. And there you go. Just a little extra shawl sleeve thing going on. <laughs> Now here is a little bit of a uh, fairy sort of nymph inspired outfit. Um, I would add wings to it, you know, but oh, sorry about the tag. <laughs> I actually haven't got to wear this dress out yet, so I have not taken the tag off yet. You will see it flying behind me. Um, <laughs> but yes, I got this in Colorado at a little boutique. And here is the little overdress I got at Goodwill. And I thought about this after I did the try on haul, but you can actually layer this kind of dress underneath and this would have made a really cool floral detail where the other dress has like a v-neck so it could have been worn like that as well um i just tried a couple of different ways to layer it and you can layer you know dresses on dresses and skirts on skirts and just tie them up all different ways um there's no wrong way to do it really Here is one of my favorite outfits I put together. Um, you guys saw me find this dress at Goodwill. Uh, the belt is from Body Central, but I've found the exact same belt at Goodwill before. The vest is also from Goodwill, um, last year actually. And I layered them over each other. Uh, the boots are a Christmas gift, I believe, from my mom. And the fur collar I got from Claire's several years ago. It was only like $5. Um, Nothing on this outfit costs me more than $10, I think, so, yeah. 
vests over dresses is sort of like an instant, really easy way to style something for Ren Fest. Um, if you've got a, like a furry scarf or something, um, you can also use it as a waist decoration to go with your belt, you know, add a different different vibe to it. Um, I've used furry scarves as belts many times, but yeah, this was actually probably one of my favorite looks. Also, if you want to be a little bit warmer, add leggings. This is one of my favorite outfits. This is my pirate outfit. The base dress is from Goodwill, as you saw. The belt is actually from Body Central, but you can find those at Goodwill all the time. This necklace was made by David and gifted to me many years ago. I got these earrings at RunFest a couple years ago, and the vest slash striped dress that I'm wearing is also a gift from David. Now, this coat is probably one of my best Goodwill finds ever. It was actually only $6, and this is not like a Halloween costume pirate coat. This is like a very high quality pirate coat that you could get out at RenFest. I was so hyped up when I found it. Um, I'll link the video in the description box below of <laughs> when I found it. But all these colors and textures really make for a fun pirate outfit. And, of course, the final piece on my pirate outfit. This was a gift from my parents a long time ago, probably back in 8th grade. Um, but yeah, anytime you can get something gifted, it's really handy. I try to make use of my gifts frequently. <laughs> and there you have it. Pirate Captain. So I hope you enjoyed all of my outfit ideas, my garb ideas. Um, I hope they gave you a little bit of inspiration that you can use and take and maybe um, create your own garb with uh, some of the ideas that I showed on here. Um, one last bit of advice, accessories are always a really good affordable way to like amp up your outfit a little bit. Um, I know I didn't show a whole lot of accessories actually on the video, um, but I, I would say, like, there's so many little trinkets and things you can buy just at, like, Walmart or Goodwill or the dollar store. Um, and you can just add them. Like, if you have a belt or something, you can just clip them on there. Um, you can get those little keychain clip things, and you can add all sorts of things to your costume. If you have um, any, like, leather sashes, you know, you can add little trinkets to that. Um, I have some cool shaped change purses that like one shaped like a actually you know what let me just show you okay so I have like this little teapot change purse that I got at the fair which I actually have um a collective haul of little things I picked up at fairs and stuff throughout the year uh coming to you guys hopefully soon uh, but yeah we'll see how soon but I tried <laughs> anyway you can find little things like this um I also have this one. This one's really cool. I'm probably going to wear this one to Rinfest this year, actually. Um, but each of these, like, these were only $7. So, again, you can add just tiny little things like this to your outfit. You can even add um, just little drawstring bags. And I actually got this for free. It came with uh, some jewelry I got. So, like, you can add just little tiny trinkets to your outfit. And it'll really just create a new element to it. Add a little, little extra visual appeal, you know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Um, I've had this idea for a long time and I really wanted to do it to hopefully help people to see that you can, you can dress up for Renfest. It doesn't have to be super elaborate or expensive, which if it is, that's also wonderful. Um, I think all garb is great garb. So anyway, um, I, I hope I really do hope it helps somebody out there. Um, anyway, I will be doing my typical Renfest vlogs this year. Um, that will be very, very soon. I will be out there at 1001 Dreams Weekend. If you see me out there, feel free to say hi. We'll take a photo, you know, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys goodbye for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my stuff, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sunbeam Spirit. I will be posting a lot of RenFest photos and videos and stuff on my story, as well as doing my vlog very soon. 
So I hope I see you guys out there. <laughs> Bye.